Iconic movie scenes have died out in 2019. At least for now. Sure, you can take my word as granted, so I have prepared a little game for you. I'm naming a movie title and you have to picture a scene from this movie on the top of your head. You ready? The Matrix Titanic Basic Instinct Dirty Dancing Lady and the Tramp High chance you had these scenes in your head. Now let's try it again for the next movies. John Wick Avatar The Way of Water Dune Top Gun Maverick Everything Everywhere All at Once this round ain't as easy as before. I can't show you the iconic scenes because I don't know if they have any. Sounds harsh, but hear me out. If you'd argue you haven't seen all of them, I'd argue you are able to recognize or recollect these iconic scenes, although you even may haven't seen the movie. These last five movies should have left some burning imagery in your head. But how come they don't? Let me share some wisdom with you. You may think these examples are too fresh. They need time and then iconic scenes will be established. Nope. Titanic or The Matrix, for example, have immediately been iconic. There was no passage of time about five years or so. You knew it when you saw it. But let's clarify what an iconic movie scene is in the first place. An iconic movie scene is a moment within a film that transcends into something bigger becoming deeply ingrained in pop culture. These scenes are characterized by memorable imagery and evoking strong emotions. They become touchstones of cultural significance, influencing future filmmakers and leaving a lasting legacy on the cinematic landscape. This bar seems to be set quite high if it sounds like that. Let's break it down. It's something special, awe-inspiring. It can be brief or a whole scene leading to a particular moment. You know when you see it that you have never witnessed something like this before. But beware, it's not only about spectacle. Otherwise Sucker Punch should be filled with iconic moments. But there is a lack of something very important. You are left with an empty feeling because of lack of emotion. More times than not an iconic moment is the crux of the movie. It's heavily packed with emotion, built up as the movie unfolds. Now here comes my gripe with Dune. I think it's a remarkable movie, but I'm missing the emotional anchor in both films. The second one improved on this aspect. But for the relationship of Paul and Chani as the backbone of the movie, it felt a bit cold. This is movie romance at its most superficial and one-dimensional. Two attractive people in beautiful locations. They must be in love. But that may be the topic for another video. The movie currently stands on IMDb as the 15th best movie. Of course it's going to drop. But with this rating, there should be no struggle to define an iconic scene. Maybe the scene on the home planet of the Harkonnen. Or Chalamet and Butler's shared scene. I don't think it will go down in movie history as this outstanding scene you haven't seen before. But maybe I will be proven wrong about this. Perhaps directors don't deliver emotionally satisfying scenes as before. Or the division from loud big blockbusters and small quiet indie movies is also at play here. Imagine once there weren't two separate things, but you could find them in one movie. You don't have to turn your brain off for a fun movie. It can be fun and smartly written. Now and then comes a movie along like Top Gun Maverick. Maverick arguably even may be a better film than the original. 
but which Top Gun contains more iconic scenes? That's by no means an intention to diminish the quality of the picture, but only something that funnily happens to be that way. Not only the cream of the crop has iconic scenes, so the quality is not always a hindrance. Albeit really outstanding movies have more than one iconic scene, whereas I struggle with recent outings to find even one. Defoe's monologue in The Lighthouse is amazing, but it doesn't have the same impact as Gollum's scene. Feel this like an unfair comparison? Okay, let's compare the iconic scenes from Spider-Man movies. Picture the iconic scene from the OG Spider-Man. It's this. Or well, Spider-Man 2. Neat. Now the iconic scenes from Tom Holland's Spider-Man. They struggle to have an identity on their own, even borrowing imagery from before. Although the MCU had iconic movie moments, the last one happened in 2019. Again, 2019 may be the last year of iconic movie scenes. Certain snaps left a mark and were the culmination of the MCU as a whole. Everything that came afterwards is only DLC. Through the postmodern lens one could say we have nothing new to see. After sequels and reboots and everything in between you can't be surprised anymore. Right? The well has run dry. There are movies which were setting new standards and became the definitive version of a topic. The movies that followed after have always been compared to their achievements. You can't see an exorcism movie without comparing it to The Exorcist. But I think you can always add something fresh and new to the conversation. Interestingly, Spider-Man 1 and 2's most iconic scenes haven't been pulled from any source material. They took matters into their own hands to deliver something astounding and memorable. Colors help oddly well to remember specific things like you may vividly remember a piece of cloth you had as a child, having a certain color. You surely know the important color schemes in these scenes. Set design and costume design are often unsung heroes that can make or break a scene to enter our minds and stay there forever after. Of course, beautifully shot scenes still exist, but that ain't a free pass for iconic status. Not every beautifully shot scene is guaranteed to be iconic, though there were certain common ways in the past who may have helped, like the use of silhouettes. The moon. Or slow motion. To signal importance. A lot of ending scenes also became iconic. Because people often judge the whole movie by its ending, so if it left a big impression, it was more likely to slip into the cultural milestones of filmmaking. Sounds also aid in remembering iconic scenes, like unforgettable quotes you can cite. Here's Johnny. Even if you haven't seen the movie. I'll be back. Or the music playing during the scene. If you see these following clips, you will know the music linked to it. Now one certain genre can combine these elements easily. Musicals. They stylize their scenes, their quotes become the lyrics and the music is in the forefront. Easy way to create something iconic. Emotions are not only expressed through singing, but also through dancing. And this counts for other genres as well. Witnessing movement in a context like it hasn't been before will likely stick in your head. All these elements may be responsible for creating an iconic scene, not always combined, not always a requirement, but they are playing their part. AI won't create an iconic moment. It's not understanding how to combine these elements, and more importantly, when to set the emotional climax, at least for now. Although the Mission Impossible franchise has quite enjoyable flicks, which movie out of the seven has the most iconic scene? It's this scene. Not much spectacle, but it's something we have never seen before. Movement we never see in our daily life. If it is recreated, you immediately recognize it. Repetition may be an important key factor. What do I mean by repetition? The repetition in the movie itself by building up to something and then earning it. Thus the emotional crux. It's simply satisfying to watch. Repetition through marketing. Posters featuring their iconic scenes are minorities. The marketing department doesn't always know what they have on their hand, but after they realize what instantly becomes iconic, they course correct it for their home releases or anniversaries. Trailers are another kind of beast. Modern trailers may already set up scenes to become iconic. They are placing their bets on the money shots, 
but in the end it is dependent on the audience's reception. It's a hit or miss situation. You also won't spoil too much, so it's a bit tricky. Better not show off the biggest twist in the movie. <coughs> you can't put the most iconic scene in Star Wars into a trailer. It has to be a surprise. These forms of repetition don't seem to fit, but there's another. The most certain way to cement an iconic status by repetition is through referencing. In all sorts and forms on the spectrum, simply by pointing it out or straight out recreating and poking fun at it. Sitcoms like The Simpsons, Seinfeld and many more did this regularly. The best way to know something is becoming iconic is parody. We still have sitcoms, especially in the animated realm, which could partake in this endeavor. Hello, precious. Yes, that's a good precious. Now it takes the lotion from the basket. Oh, please, mister, please get me out of here. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> yes, that's a good precious. Okay, now it puts the lotion back in the basket. But parody in movies is quite frankly left out. We're gonna have to appreciate a well-crafted comedy or parody. Aside from wisecracking heroes who solely rely on name-dropping something and expect you to burst out in laughter... Right, better clench up, Legolas. The internet has slipped into the role of mocking movies, their scenes and moments. There is enough content to get a laugh out of some movie you watched. But here's the thing. Not everyone is watching the same. There's too much content. Earlier it was narrower and more selective. Now there are endless opportunities which poses the following issue. There is not enough time to process what is presented. It's difficult to leave a mark in film history because the waters are muddied. Scorsese's and Fincher's Netflix outings, whether you like them or not, don't have the same impact as their movies with regular theater experience. Streaming at home won't have the same feeling like a theater experience, as there is no cultural sharing, no collective reactions. Sure, some things will be trending on TikTok, but the whole ordeal is fast-paced, which makes these trends only a flavor of the week and then moving on to the next big thing. And in the case for memeability, an iconic scene can become a meme, but not every meme is an iconic scene. In this case, the Star Wars prequels would have surpassed or at least been on par with the original trilogy, if memeability influences iconography this much. The forms of repetition that are needed are there, they are given, it should be easier as ever before, but now there is too much going on to focus on something. But hey, here and then something emerges from the sea of content and manages to create old-school iconic scenes. There is a relatively new film which has more than one iconic scene. If I say Hakuin Phoenix's Joker, you surely have this image in your head. It accomplishes all the things I talked about. 2019 the last good year for iconic scenes. Whether you like it or not, this is emotionally satisfying. Has a memorable setting, costume design, music, movement, and it became a worldwide hit with a modest budget. As you saw it in the theater, you knew you have witnessed something special. We will have to wait how the sequel is going to turn out and if iconic scenes will arise. I want to leave you with a little game. After you may like and subscribe and leave your thoughts on the matter in the comments below, like your favorite iconic scene or what you think deserves to be iconic but sadly isn't, go to your friends and family and play an iconic scene out in front of them and let them guess. Try it with older ones and with newer ones. Have fun and thanks for watching. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.